Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie do by Fafa Miawe Zulu Indie do by Fafa Hello family, so today I'll be sharing my palm nut soup recipe. Now there are reasons why I do not like palm nut soup, but the reasons why I will have it is this way, just this way. So I'm going to start off by steaming the neck of my lamb and I've got my holy grill blend, which is made up of a minimum of 13 different spices. So it covers all the base that one needs to actually make a sumptuous meal. So to that, I'll be adding two tablespoonful of my Holy Grail blend, which is available on buyindudu.com. I'm adding salt to taste, a little bit of water. And then before I do anything, I'm going to be mixing all of this together. And you do have the option of pre-marinating this in the fridge overnight. Yes. Next thing is I'm going to be adding my onions and they're going to lend their beautiful sweetness to the meat. The next thing I will be adding before I cover this to allow it to steam will be my scotch bonnet. Now I do have the dried scotch bonnet on by Indudu as well as the cassoir pepper, the yellow ones which are quite rare. Yes, dried as well and is also available on by Indudu.com. So here I've added my scotch bonnet and I'm just going to allow this to simmer on the lowest heat possible for about 40 minutes whilst I tend to my soup. To my saucepan, I've got some water and then my Inkulinu palm fruit. That's my personal preference. If I ever have to buy palm fruit or make palm nut soup, it is Inkulinu. That's what I like. Yes, I find that closest to the palm nuts, the fresh palm nuts that I do get in Ghana or when I am in Ghana and I enjoy palm nut soup. Yes, that's it. So yes, it's my number one brand may i say that i like so anyway i've added some more water and i'm mixing everything together until of course it's well combined now i'm going to be building upon the flavors so number one is the sweetness so of course onions um do add this exceptional sweetness to a dish now i do not use any msg or any artificial flavors i just use all natural flavors in making my dishes so i can appreciate the flavors of each ingredient Next, I've also added some mild red chilies, as you can see, red peppers, may I say chili in the fact, and um, some habanero chili here. So I've got scotch bonnets in the lamb, and then I've got habanero chili here, and I've mixed it together till it's well combined. Here I do have my boneless goat meat bites, which have been slow cooked in a clay pot and infused with a holy grill blend. Now this is the version with the bones and I'll be using that for the soup. That's just going to add that beautiful goat meat stock and flavour to my soup. So now we're building upon the flavors and of course the goat meat has gone through beautifully. Now I also need to add an extra one tablespoonful of the Holy Grail blend and that would also just add that extra flavor to my dish. This is looking good. Now there is one vegetable that is actually missing the tomato. Can you imagine that I had run out of tomatoes? So at this point, I was like, okay, I just need to let this simmer whilst I run to the shops and grab some fresh tomatoes. Because nah, it has to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? The foamy surface of your soup is actually the palm oil. And once it disintegrates or disappears from your soup, that is indicative that your soup is ready. Now, flavor number, I don't even know, um, is my precursor. Now, I have got the powdered precursor form. And I remember having this conversation with um, some colleagues um, because I did take the soup to the barbecue. And then I'm like, precursor doesn't smell of anything. And I was like, yes, yeah, unfortunate that precursor, when sold, is actually exposed to the sun and it shouldn't be. It should be kept in an airtight container in a dark place because it does have an incredible smell, especially when it's fresh. And that is what I source, absolutely. So if you do have your 
you know, the whole Prakaset. This is what you do to actually release some of the oils from it. So just light it on a light fire, release the oils and add it to your soup. And that oil from that Prakaset and the flavor is just going to infuse into the soup. Now, if you don't have your blended Prakaset from Bind Didu, this is the time to grab a bottle or two. Yes. And you can add a teaspoonful. That's all you will need to the soup because it's that concentrated. Now we're going to be building up on the flavors again. And here I've got my smoked tilapia. Now smoked tilapia has the sweetest, sweetest flavor ever. Absolutely love this. Love, love, love it. So I'm just going to add that to the soup and allow it to simmer for about 15 minutes. And then it's like almost disintegrating into the soup. But of course, I'm just going to take this out because I'll be blending this. And of course, I'm not going to use the heads. It would just be the meat or may I say the fish and a bit of the bones. Yes, that that's the part that I will be using. But look at that. Tarry up and go. So me at this point, you know, I'm smiling in my head because I know that the onions are ready and I can blend them. But guess what? The tomatoes, I grabbed some quickly and I'm back. <laughs> so it means that I will be blending the tomatoes much later. Absolutely. Because I just need that to cook and soften a little bit. So it's now time for me to remove the onions, the peppers and the habanero chili. And I'll be blending all this beauty together. Now, there's also another thing that I do like in my palm nut soup. I need it a little bit on the spicier side, yes. Now, you notice I've not added the ginger and garlic because all of that is in the Holy Grail blend. So, I don't need to do that, you know. And look at the oil that's just like settled at the surface. But you would notice something again. It's just going to get foamy. That reaction is happening again because, of course, here I've got the tilapia, the onions, and then the peppers and chilies in there that I've blended. And that is just looking good. The tomato now is ready for its blend and is going to lend its acidity as well to the soup. So, of course, I'm going to blend that and add that back into the soup. And you will just see, look at this, you could just see the oil just coming to the surface. Ah, and all I'm thinking about is your kegari, <laughs> which is the classic onion red red with zomi. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Anyway, now if you've not watched my zomi recipe, I'd leave a link as well in the description box so you can watch that. Now my soup is almost ready. I'm adding my garden eggs. And what I love about garden eggs, it has that slight, you know, sourness or may I say bitterness. Yes, that, you know, really helps. And then the peppers are going in. Now, the palm nut soup is given, you know, you can add any vegetables of your choosing, like something like carrot would work perfectly with us, you know, because the carrot is also going to lend us extra sweetness to it. So I've got my peppers, my habanero chili, and then my steamed lamb. It's ready. You know, at this point, I was like, oh, I should have used a bigger sauce, but I think I always seem to underestimate the quantity of soup that I'm baking. And now here I am trying to shift things and like just be careful I'm holding my breath pouring the lamb stock in you know because I need that flavors to infuse and then carefully it's done and it's simmering beautifully and I've got that club here there the okra had to come through Ooh, yes because that okra as well acts as a thickener but I like it you know my soup lighter now the interesting thing about the palm nut soup is after day three it thickens up and yes, it's more of an intense flavor, but it's an intense flavor that I don't particularly like. I like the refreshing flavor. <laughs> yes, but you know, it's each their own. Um, but here I've got my soup that is ready. And at this point, I had to transfer it into a bigger container because it's almost ready. And then I had to shoot off to the barbecue. Oh, yeah. So would you my my Absolutely. Now, you will find um, 
the list of ingredients and measurements in the description box. I'll also leave it on my website, buyindudu.com. And also you can grab your Precocer and um, your Holy Grail blend as well from there. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has supported me so far. And yes, everyone spreading the word. I appreciate you a lot. To my notification gang, thank you for joining me today. And to everyone that took the time out to love, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, invite your family and friends over and take care of you and be nice, be yourself, be beautiful. And guess what? I love you for you. Toodles. Thank you very much for watching.